Hello everyone out there in YouTube land and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a candle review for you. I'm going to be reviewing Goose Creek's Autumn Romance in the new oblong jar. So I had ordered six oblong candles from Goose Creek and I'm going to be reviewing all of them eventually. And so this is my first review um, in that series and I'm very excited to be sharing it with you. So I wanted to take some time with this candle to really try it out and not be so quick to um, pan it right away. I was disappointed when I first got the candle because the shipping took forever and the candle had no lid, but I didn't want that to sour me on the candle from the get-go. I wanted to be objective and I wanted to um, be as accurate as I could for you guys. So what I did was I burned it a couple of times. As you can see, I burned a good, you know, a good bit of it. I burned it a couple of times. I burned it in different rooms uh, at, you know, at different times and for different lengths of time so I could get like the true experience. So what I found on this, um, let me start with the positive. Aesthetically, this candle is gorgeous. The picture is beautiful. The wax is beautiful. It burns pretty well, except there's a bit of soot there in the back. Um, but other than that, it burns clean and even. No problems with the burn at all. Um, it's just a gorgeous candle. And with the three wicks, it really has a beautiful look to it when it's lit. Um, let's see, what else is positive about this candle? Hmm. Um, the burn is a bit faster than the two wick jar. I expected that uh, with the three wick candle. Um, it's not burning super fast, so you don't have to worry about that uh, your candle is going to like disappear on you right away because it has that extra wick. Um, so that doesn't seem to have changed too much. Um, you still get, it still, it burns, it burns well. I mean, it's not burning super fast. It's not burning super slow. It's, it's burning a little faster than the two wick, um, but not really fast. So now let's get on to the, um, the scent throw. So let me read you the description. So the description is... Love is in the air with notes of warm amber crystals, brushed suede, creamy sandalwood, sensual amber, and sugared musk. So for scent throw, I'm going to give this um, anywhere from a zero to a three, depending on what room you burn it in. I burned it in my living room. There was zero scent throw. I burned it in my bathroom, which is a really small room, and it was about a one. Then I tried burning it in my office at work and I got about a three out of it. For some reason, candles with a really weak throw tend to give more of a scent at my office at work. I don't know why, maybe just the way the office is laid out or whatever, but uh, I seem to get more of an, um, an added accurate picture. Well, yeah, I guess in a way, an accurate picture of what the candle smelled like. Now, to me, um, this candle smells a lot like Golden Sands from Yankee Candle, which is also a really weak throwing candle. So, um, yeah. So, uh, Golden Sand has got sandalwood in it also, and it has tonka bean in it. Um, this also has sandalwood, and this has sugared musk. That's definitely what I smell. You can definitely smell the sandalwood and the sugared musk. You get a hint of, hint of the amber. Brushed suede... I didn't smell any suede in there. But anyway, um, overall I was really disappointed in the scent throw of this candle. It's really virtually no scent throw at all. Um, the only good thing about it really is the look of the candle and the burn performance. If you're a fan of the design and you just want this as a buffer candle um, or just for ornamental purposes, then I would say check it out. But if you want to get a good scent throw out of a candle, I would not pick this one up. So. This is definitely a um, thumbs down for me. Um, I would not repurchase it. The only way I would repurchase this candle is if it was like on super sale and it was being discontinued. I might pick up an extra one because it is so beautiful. But other than that, no, I could not in good faith recommend this candle to anyone. Um, yeah, now you can see there the wax at the top, there are some oils there. Um, it got kind of white. And can you see that? The difference between the pool and the, the other part of it? I don't know if that makes a difference. Um, yeah, it's not even, 
you can't even get a good throw out of it on cold snip. It's okay. I think I could smell it more on cold sniff now that I've burned it a couple of times than I could when I initially got the candle when it didn't smell like anything at all. So hopefully the rest of the oblong candles won't be duds. I'm not hopeful because I started burning two others of it, of my candles, two other oblongs. But I'm going to keep, you know, pushing, keep on trucking with those and try them out in different rooms before I'm, you know, criticize those too. Uh, yeah, but so far I'm, I'm not liking the oblongs, you know. I wish I could say that I was, but I think, honestly, I think they rushed to put them out. I think that they had too many orders and they probably didn't do so well on the pouring. Maybe they didn't put as much oil in them as they do in their jars. I don't know. If you picked up an oblong candle from Goose Creek, tell me what you think in the comments down below. If you like this review, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more reviews, subscribe to my channel. I will see you next time. Bye guys.